What's going on family? Welcome back to the channel family. I'm sorry I've been MIA for so long. I had some issue that family I really had to tend to man. Some really important family issue that I have to attend to. So I kind of put YouTube on the back burner for a little bit. But now we're getting back into it family. We're getting back into it. I'm just going to pretty much run through my tanks man. Let y'all know um, I have not gotten no new fish. But I did have some fish that actually passed. We're just gonna actually, um, you know, just take a look through all the tanks, man. Give you guys an update as to what's going on before I actually go back into um, making content. All right, so let's go take a look at these tanks, man, and show you pretty much exactly what's been going on for the past maybe a month, three weeks, month and a half. Who knows? All right, so family, we're gonna talk about this 150 gallon African cichlid tank. Before I want to do so, you see this guy right here. That's one of my um, babies. And there is, I believe there's a lot more actually there that's in that pile of rock right there. They're pretty much just living in the pile of rock. And I believe I do have some over here. Sorry for the glare. Do have some over here living in, um, in the pile of rocks as well. But pretty much, like I said, this is the 150 gallon tank. Man, you y'all know this tank. Um, the bamboos, the fishes, um, the pothos that's been pretty much just growing like crazy. You know I'm saying? Luscious, nice, pretty, thick roots. Man, this tank has just been doing amazing. Um, pretty much nothing from this tank has died. I've not added no new fish in this, this tank. Everybody's all scared and scattered all over the place. Um, everybody's growing and like I said, they are actually breeding in this tank like crazy. I believe I have another set of fry That's just been dropped um, Where they are I probably couldn't tell you but I'm pretty sure if I go digging in these um, rocks and stuff I'll probably find them I'll probably find them Because I've catched them um, doing that little swim dance plenty of times man. I've seen the female drop eggs plenty of times but like I said, I really could not tell you exactly where they are or maybe they could actually eat the eggs back too I don't who knows but like I said the tank itself overall man is doing just amazing um, like I said no casualties in this tank everything is just doing phenomenal and this tank is doing pretty good so let's go ahead and move on to the next tank all right next up we got one of my favorite tanks man my parrot cichlid tank these guys are just so beautiful I just find these guys so engaging man these guys just engage with me on any and every level. I got a couple that's hiding inside there. I got a couple of snails inside the tank. As you can see, there's a little, small, little bit of small algae growing on the glass. I tend to let the snails take care of that. There go another one. And here go another snail right here as well. So I tend to let the snails take care of that. Very rarely, I'll go ahead and actually scrape the glass. Only if it's like really, really, really bad to where I know the snails is just gonna have a hard time getting it all off. But Pretty much, man, I just let the snails go ahead and do their thing, man. So this tank family, I did have two casualties. I did have two casualties, unfortunately. Um, one of my big guys died. He was about maybe the size of this guy right here. And then another smaller one died. I'm not sure what happened. Like I said, went to work, came back home, and he was just floating, man. But my two yellow ones, which is right here, and the next one right here, man. These are these guys are doing just fine, man. Apart from that, everybody is just doing just fine in this tank, man. They're eating, they're chilling, swimming. Um, I have not gotten no breeding activity yet from this tank. Maybe it's too crowded. Who knows? Maybe it's not. But um, but this tank for the most part, family, is just good. And you can see I got a little bit more pothos up here. And this these this pothos family, I just love it because it's such a different color, man. That's a different different type of photos. And you can see a lot of roots is growing. I just pretty much just stick it in the filter. Oops. And let it do what it do. And this other one right here, just regular photos. Nice, luscious green leaves. One point the um the leaf got in the tank, and you know the silver dollar went to work. So yeah, we definitely can't have the leaf hanging inside the tank because that silver dollar right there, boy, he will go to work. There he is right there in the corner. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so that's it for this time. Like I said, I mean, only two casualties from this tank. And, but apart from that, everybody is doing good, man. Everybody's eating, no sick fish, nothing of that sort, nothing of that nature. 
So we're gonna go ahead and actually run through the next tank family. Okay, another one of my, I'ma say favorite tanks that I like, man. My puffer fish tank, my saltwater puffer fish, two porcupine puffer and a dog face puffer. And I just pretty much just love this tank, man. It's, it's a 90 gallon, simple as you can see. These guys eat a lot of clams, a lot of clams. And I should go ahead and take them out, but I mean, you know, it's good for the um, the pH. So we're just gonna, um, I'm, I'm definitely gonna get some of them out, but I'm definitely gonna let some of them stay inside there. But pretty much like I said again, man, this tank is, I love this tank, man, it's pretty cool. Only three fish inside here. Um, nobody is aggressive, everybody is chill, everybody eats. And everything is gravy in this tank. So we're gonna definitely run on to the next tank. This tank is, run, is running off three sponge filters. I did have a canister filter on here, man, and for some reason, it just started leaking, and yeah, that wasn't a good day. Let's just say that wasn't a good day after all. But like I said, again, everybody in this tank is doing pretty much fine. These holes I gotta take off, that was from the canister filter, but pretty much nothing is running. It's just sitting there, you know, just sitting. I just gotta take those holes off of this tank. But everyone in this tank, and this this guy's actually grown too, man. This dog face puffer, he's actually stretching out. Eventually, I'm gonna get a bigger tank for him. These porcupines are doing their thing, man. And these guys just always look like they're smiling. Just always look like they're smiling. So that's it for this tank, family. All right, this is my 150 gallon salt water tank. Sorry for the salt creep, I'm doing maintenance today. Um, you, you already know what it is with salt water tanks, man. So my Niger Trigger is doing just fine, man. He, this boy is stretching out too. He's stretching out nice and good. I got two big lion fishes inside, inside here. These guys, I just fed this tank, so these guys are pretty much perching. They just ate, and they're not really gonna do a lot of swimming. They just ate, man, and they're doing pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm trying to find my narrow line puffer that was in inside here. I just fed him this morning. Not sure where he's hiding at. But I know he's inside here somewhere because I just fed this tank. As you can see, the cover is actually cracked. So he's inside here somewhere. Now, I did have one casualty from this tank. I did lost my fox face from this tank. I guess he got into a fight with somebody. I'm not sure who. And they pretty much ripped his mouth wide open. And that was not a good look for that fish when I came home from work. Yeah, that was it. So that's it for that fish, <clears throat> unfortunately. But like I said, the tank itself overall is running good. It's doing good. Everybody's growing. They're eating fine. Um, the balances on this tank is pretty much good. I just, just got to get the salt creek um, taken care of. But apart from that, man, this tank is doing perfectly fine. It's running on a canister filter as well as two big um, sponge filter. As you can see and a lot of um rocks but yeah this tank is doing just fine it's amazing all right let's go ahead and take a look at the next salt water tank okay so this salt water tank is my pretty much my reef tank and uh the light just came on so
eyes are stretching out like crazy, man. Uh, my Jaguar Cichlet, man, he's doing fine, man. He's another OG in this tank as well. Uh, I got Mr. Grinch right here, Scarface. This guy was given to me by a donation. Somebody was going to give him to the pet store, and I just took him from, from him, and he's been doing great ever since. Same thing with this guy, man. He was going to be given to the pet store, and I just went and took him, man. This was like months ago. And then um, my tiger shovel nose catfish in the back. Look at that blue channel cat, man. Just all in the way. It is feeding time for this tank, so that's why they're acting like this up, up close and personal. So yeah, everybody else has gotten feeding, but um, this tank I gotta feed, so that's why they're going berserk right now. So yeah, my tiger shovel nose catfish. This is another OG that I got, man. This me and this fish has been through thick and thin, man. Thick and thin. I literally hand fed this fish, took him out of the tank, and had to like stuff tilapia down into his gut, shrimp into his gut. Yeah, that fish was so skinny, man. He was on the verge of dying, but we made it. We brought him back. We brought him back. Yep, 300 gallon tank. Um, like I said, I mean, pretty much not gonna put anything else inside here, unless it's something that I can't resist. But for the most part, this is pretty much it. Like I said, we definitely gotta try to um get that um silver R1 out of here. I have this fish for a long time, man. I just don't want to get rid of him, but y'all know how how it is, man. So that's it for this tank, family. All right, family, last but not least, we have my 75 gallon tank that's built inside the wall. Okay, that's right, prayer changes things, listen. So this tank pretty much, um, you know, houses all my angels and all my geophagas, which is not a pre, I think it's like three of them inside here, but pretty much mainly angels. Sorry for the quality of this fish build. The light right here, man, it's very, very poor. I don't really turn this light on because this light is pretty much, um, tank light is, the tank is lit by the living room, so I don't really use too much light on this tank. But pretty much everything inside this tank is good. Um, no casualties inside this tank, man. Everything has been pretty much good inside this tank. All these guys are growing, they're eating, and they're doing just fine. These two big guys was given to me by Billy. Shout out to Billy, man. But, um, yeah, this tank is doing pretty much amazing, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful tank. All right, family, so you've seen it, man. Like I said, lost a few fish, man. No new fish. But pretty much that's what's going on on the island, island of aquatics. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much that's it, man. So we're going to definitely um, come back with some updates, man. Try to come back with some new fish, some new tank setups. Just everything new all around. But you know what I'm saying? So I've not given up, family. Just bear with me, man. Your boys, you know, I'm coming out of some stuff, man. So, you know, just give me a little time, man. It's a little personal. But y'all check the live streams out on Sundays at 7.15. We love y'all, man. God bless, family. You know what it is, man. Peace out, all right? As always, man, be a blessing to somebody. And please, don't block your own blessing. Peace out, family. We out.